I'm, I'm just, I'm, I like Reggie Bush. I watched him in college. I'm go, not go. denying. No, no, Nas, Nas, Nas. Go, go, Google Reggie Bush. I want everybody Google Reggie Bush high school highlight film. High I school. don't need to. No, I don't need to Listen, do that. I don't need to. But I'm saying no. That's the posture. That, but I'm saying it. That's the best highlight. I just seen a lot of high school film. That's the best film I've ever seen in my life, man. <laughs> That peeking in my window, blah. Nobody now. Let's go. PCP back at it again. Y'all know what it is. It's your boys, the crew. I got my fellas with me, man. We 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 here again, trying to to give a little love and a little light in these in these dark times. We coming out here doing our thing. I got my fellas with me. You already know. It's uh, G Jizza, the brainchild of it all out there in LA. We got Dale, the funky homo sapien over there in Maryland. My man, Meanie Mean, always the dream. My boy, Low, down in Cincinnati, you already know. And my sans, Jay Feezy, down there doing what he does in Ohio, holding it down for us all the time. Over there looking like a, a light-skinned Marvin Gaye. Get him, boy. <laughs> Let's get That's that exactly thing. what I was thinking. That I couldn't put it together. <laughs> hey, I see like you. Mar Marvin Gaye out here, boy. Let's go. <laughs> we shaking nice. We shaking nice. Let's here go. Too. Nice. Man, we, we in March, man. Big facts. We, we, we in March. We done made it to March. It's been a full year pandemic, full year craziness, full year of just complete nonsense. But we here, man, and, and we and we see maybe a brighter day. Maybe they starting to lift some of these <laughs> sanctions, fellas. Hmm. They starting to lift it. The folks is burning masks. First, folks is is coming out. It was getting warm. What's happening out here, real quick? Let's do a quick run around and see how folks feel about what's coming up in the next several months. Obviously, we see a lot of states starting to roll back the COVID uh, mm -hmm. restrictions and, um, you know, allowing for parties and, and concerts and all that stuff to pop off. I want to just get a quick, you know, run around to see how y'all feel about what's happening. Man, Dale, first where I, you at, Dale? First, first I, I'll go. Man, first I want to say, because we are, this is about a year, go, going on a year since uh, the lockdown happened, man. So first, I just got to say glory to God, man. And we ain't, none of us have contracted it. Man, we all in good health, as far as I know. Uh, families is good, you know what I'm saying? We ain't lost nobody. So you, I, you gotta give it up to that, man. Cause you know, we, we, we talk about it, we laugh about it, you know, but some people out here that's really, 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 really struggling from on every level, psychologically, financially, physically, you name it. Uh, so I just gotta give it up to that. Uh, that said, um, I'm looking forward to um shit. I'm I'm looking forward to that beach, man. I ain't gonna lie. First things first, I'm looking forward to that beach. Uh uh July. I, I, yeah, actually I'm gonna be your way, Naz. That's in the that's that's in the that's in the works. Uh beginning okay. of July, man. We're supposed to be down in Yale. So I'm gonna hit you up with details. Uh we're gonna do that. Uh so yeah, so I'm gonna be down there. I'm just I'm 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 thinking about that beach, man. And, and that's it. I mean, we can get to all the rest of the shit later, but I, I just need a beach, man. That's all. I, I can't ask for nothing. Else. Dinner and all that shit. Nah. Seeing y'all. Nah. I just need a beach. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to add to that. If I do hit a beach, I usually do like maybe four or five days. Man, I'm about to do like two weeks. Week, nigga. <laughs> Easy. A whole week. Two weeks, nigga. Two weeks. I ain't mad at that either. No, I ain't no mad. man, you can't be. Can't even you can't be. Mad be. At Folks it. is tired, bro. Folks is tired, <laughs> exhausted, and I think everybody is throwing their hands up. I've been, we've been talking in the text. You know, I've been, I've been saying April first or or whenever Easter's come, when Easter hit, it's a wrap, man. People about to throw their hands in the air. 
and wave them like they just don't care. Sans, what you think? How you feeling about this? Mute, brother. You got to unmute, you on mute, brother. Sans, you on mute. You're mute, dog. Um, my bad, fellas. I said this about a year ago that we are not a culture and a society meant to be quarantined. Yeah. And I commend, I commend us because for the most part, we, we, we stuck it out and, and we here. Um, we had some craziness. We've had a lot of craziness go on, but for the most part, we here. But it's time, man. People are ready to break out. I think we're going to have the introverts even going to be asking, getting that extrovert style on this summer. You know what I'm saying? So everybody that's like to be in the house, they want to get out. You know, shout out to my man, Dale. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but yeah, it's, 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 I'm over it, man. It's like, I respect the virus. I respect protocol. I'm, I'm tired of wearing a mask, man. I'm tired of wearing a mask, bro. And I'm, I'm tired of just being restricted. Still going to have to what do I can do. Hold on. I was going to say, you still, still you taking the mask that. off? I was, the mask ain't, go the mask ain't going nowhere. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> say I was taking it off. I just said I'm tired of wearing it. All right. That's, that's okay. all I'm saying. And right. just, just to be able to get outside and to loosen up some of the restrictions. I, you know, I may have fought the tooth and nail before, you know, to stick to it. But now I'm like, hey, man. You know, let's let's you know, we, we know what to do to protect yourself. I know what to do to protect me and my family, you know. And so let 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 me let us let let put the control into the families, into the individuals to take care of business. You know what I'm saying? And let's loosen it up and let's get let's you know, I, I'm looking forward to things getting back open. I can't lie, you know. Um, so hopefully we can get that the closer we get to this immunity goal that they they hope for. Uh, that'll be good. People get vaccinated. I'm still a little skeptical, but you know, hey, it, we we here, man. It's been Sam, a year. You getting, are you gonna get it? You getting you getting the vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> I still need some data, but I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. The Johnson and Johnson shot gives me some encouragement because it's one shot. And it, it's got some stuff to help people with allergies. And I got real bad allergies. I did some research on it. It's so only I'm, like 70% I'm, though. That's okay. You know, because I'm only about 70%. So to me, that's a hundred percent. You know what I mean? <laughs> what can I say? That's so the the night already. Hey, but Nas, remember yeah. the key, the key uh, component of the Johnson though, it keep you from dying, bro. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know absolutely. What I'm That's the only thing I'm worried about. The efficacy, yeah. I get all that. Put yeah. that thing hey, and, and real, put real that quick. Thing in me. Put that thing in real me quick. so I won't go to the hospital. You know, pause though. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. I, I talked to my one oh. I talked to my aunt and you know, oh. and, and her and my uncle and in a in a nice respectful way. You know, they basically were saying like, yeah, I'm looking forward to get because they've both been vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? And they, they kind of alluded like, yeah, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? As long as my family's vaccinated, da, 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 we can get back to it. So the way I took that as, sure. hey, if you want to come over here, I, so I need to be vaccinated. I need so my, fam my family's important to me. And so if that's what I got to do to see my, my grandmother, my family members, then, you know, hey, I'm, I'm all for it, man. Blessings, bro. Low, no. go ahead, Low. Uh, hashtag stay home, man. That's all I'm saying. Fauci Fal tell me to stay home. I'm staying home. That's all I know, man. <laughs> Y'all go out here. What is it? <laughs> go to these beaches. Go to these islands. You know, have a good time. You know, you got to do that. I'm going to listen to Dr. Fauci, he said, hashtag stay home. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess uh, I, I, out of the game, you know, I guess I, I've uh, then part, partaked in a, in a little of the uh, travel life. And, you know, thank God. I mean, you know, I'm still here safe. Um, you know, I don't say I'm immune to anything like that, but uh, just it's a blessing from above that you know still here. No ventilators, no, nothing like that. Uh, definitely know some people who done caught it. Uh, de definitely know some people who have it right now. Uh, but right. 
no right. one uh, that close to me were that I feel that death or anything like that is knocking on their door. So it's a blessing. But I will say this. Uh, even when I mean, I'm going to get vaccinated. I mean, I, I try every day to log on to get vaccinated. My wife, she's fully vaccinated. My, my mom and pops, they fully vaccinated. Uh, you know, people are getting fully vaccinated. I'm trying to get there. Uh, but I'll tell you this, even when I get fully vaccinated from here on out, me personally, when I'm like traveling on planes, things like that, I'm going to keep a mask on. Mm-hmm. I mean, like just I don't know me. Just, just because the virus because, ain't going nowhere apparently, right? No, listen. Facts. It, 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 see, we're talking about the virus here, right? But let me ask you a quick question. Raise your hand if you got a cold in the last year. Thank you. I oh. was just about to say that, Low. The numbers on the flu is yeah. down listen, big. I'm sorry, a, a cold, flu, anything yep. like that. No, so but, funny. You're, but, you're, but, don't, but you're also compromising your immune system yeah, by not having man. these antibodies. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not getting right. that kind of sickness inside of you. No, I, I get that. But I'm saying for me, you know what I mean? The sniffles, all this stuff. I agree I, with you. I, I haven't gotten a cold in listen, over a year. Listen, none of that like sore throats of me. The mask is, the mask is, I don't know exactly what it's doing, but it, it, it's doing something. You know what I mean? And right. for me, when I'm in, I, I, I'm a, I'm a travel Nick, party, with, do all that stuff. But it's something about that plane and the, and the close uh, proximity with people for a long time. I'm gonna keep. I'm, I'm gonna be masked up just just because. I mean, because I feel like it actually works. So I mean, but right, yeah, well, no I, 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 I can't I can't wait to be 100 percent back outside. Uh, but. Be, before been you outside. even vaccinated, right, you uh, been outside. You've been outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, you, like, you like you I like Atlanta, bro. You ain't been outside. Let, 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 let me ask you something. Let, let me ask you something. Real, let me ask you something real fast. Lo, how many times you seen uh, Nas this year? <laughs> Who is that? Damn. How many wax. times you seen Nas? How many times you seen Nas? Who, who's Nas? I don't know no Nas. <laughs> Nas, how many times you <laughs> Nas? How many times you seen Lo in the past I year? Know. On 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 Zoom, a gang of time. All right, <laughs> there you go. I see Nash on Zoom. <laughs> All right, but the point I point I was about to make was Mean stay right up the street from me. Mean, when the when last time I seen you, dog? Last year. <laughs> okay, that that's my point. Hey, literally. Well, listen, y'all, literally. listen, y'all, y'all, y'all missed that on a year. I mean, of the fellowship. <laughs> Me, and my yeah, brother, Nance, hey, we got busy. So, I mean, don't listen. Don't, don't, don't be mad at me. I, I, I cared about that COVID until I saw my mans. And I was like, man, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and Dale, I'm telling you this the water's still blue. Man, and it feels so I'm, good. Oh, baby. <laughs> it hey, feels I'm so coming. good. I'm coming. Hey, man. G, hey G, you, you, um, you know, being out there, they they just started lifting the 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 you know regulations and restrictions out there in L.A. Jeez. Where you stand with all of this, man? Uh, you know, hands. I keep the sani, keep the soap. You know, you know, wash them as soon as I get in. After I touch everything, keep the mask on. You know, the wifey called me today, and appointments at the end of the month for both of us. So it's coming. Oh, it is. You know. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, vaccination is coming for the kid. I fought against it though, I'll be honest. Um yeah. But so 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 what 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 give us the the reason for the the change of heart? Tell tell us like why well, I, I already what? been kind of on the fence. Like like put like this. Um I had a conversation with my cousin last night. <laughs> um, but no, I... Oh, man. Mind you, this is somebody that don't take the flu vaccine. Mm-hmm. Right? I, we, I my family that. don't do that. Yeah, period. Um, but, you know, here's, a, here's another option. Wifey take it, because obviously she's, you know, we got to take it right it was you know she had to shut things down and um 
she couldn't be out here by herself, man. You know, that we supposed to be, you know, we supposed to be one head, right? Pause. Pause. So that's it. I don't really got no big, like, you know, smart way to look at it. It's just. It sounds you know. like you ain't had much of a choice, man. No, I definitely had a choice. I definitely okay. had a choice, but um, let me ask you this. I just looked I'm up sorry, and I was like, man, fuck it, let's go. And she, next thing I know, she texting me. She hit me with the Google Calendar. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> the Apple Calendar, and it's already already set up. I go the day before her, actually. Okay. <laughs> so, so look, so we all talking about us. W- what about the offspring? No, not the offspring. That's a good question. Up? That's a good question, Lo, because a great I, question. My, my, you know, my wife is a physician, and she's already had the, you know, the the vaccine, and she asked me, you know, if I was going to get it, and I told her I, w- I was going to wait. And for me, since the boys aren't in school, I'm waiting with them as well. Like, you know, until at least until school time, you know, things may change. I'm I'm assuming at some point they're going to make all of this mandatory to get back into school to yep. to travel. You're going to yep. have to have some proof that you either had a a, a test, a, a, a you know a negative test, or you that you've been vaccinated. And and, and if you don't, you're not going to be able to go to the concert. You're not going to be able to send your kid to school. You're not going to be able to get on the plane. I just think that that's where we headed towards. So well, look, let me let me touch on that on that Nas. You know they're and we. We've seen this, it's probably been about four, maybe five months. That app that you must have your results, that's gonna be coming um, to where when you go fly, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to provide and show proof that you've had that. So I feel like in some areas of our society, there is gonna be a requirement or you're gonna be restricted on what you can do because you don't you haven't been vaccinated. Absolutely. And I think I think flying. And I can see schools getting like that because, you know, my daughter, all the teachers in their school got vaccinated last week, last Friday and the Monday after that. So for two days, the Ohio. entire city, Columbus, yeah, all, all of Ohio, all the teachers got vaccinated. So, it, you know, that, that makes me feel good. But at the same time, you know, I'm sure the teachers and their union is pushing like, hey, you know, we, we got our teachers out there. What about the students and what about the other staff? So it's possibly going to be coming real soon. Yeah. So, you know, they're going to, and that's, that's a way to get it because remember there was a time where they had these vaccines, but, but the, the, the participation in taking those vaccines is low because you've got a lot of skepticism out there. So to get to, 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 to boost that, what do you do? Okay. It's just like, it's just like, you know, when you was in school, like they'll ask for volunteers. If ain't no volunteers, oh, okay, <laughs> then we are gonna start choosing right. motherfuckers. Guess what, that's Jason? What Get your ass up here. And go. Yeah, that's that's what's about to happen. Like, oh, y'all don't want to take this vaccine? We just spent all this money on this vaccine. Bet you want to fly? I need a vaccine. You want to go to school? I need a vaccine. So yeah, for sure. So that was my that was my big thing with the vaccine because I've never had a flu shot a day in my life. Me I mean, Me I don't either. do vaccines like that. But, but uh, I was trying to tell y'all my reasoning behind being for the vaccine is we, we have to understand uh, we have different vaccines and different things like that. This is research I've done, you know, saying personally. Um, the doc, you know, yeah, Doctor like, Low, here come Doctor Low. Here, yeah, here we go. Here we go. What, what you say, Dale? <laughs> there you the go. fake doc. <laughs> <laughs> here come Doctor Low. Okay. So th- there's one doctor who's on this vaccine. There's one doctor who's on this vaccine. There's one doctor on the vaccine. On this, when the government got got involved, it was like ten doctors on on, on one one vaccine with, with an open checkbook. It ain't like you know, yeah, like budgets behind a vaccine. Like okay, you know, we can't mess up like trying to uh, fool with if it's gonna work or not. It's like. Let's, let's put, let's, we can put, we can put all du- uh, all our eggs in the basket. If we mess up, we can put our uh, eggs in the basket again. So I mean that that's what I was like. Well, shit, that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of 
brains going into this one thing. So of course it's going to work. That's what made me comfortable with, with going with it, taking it. And I mean, I'm not a vaccine taker, never took the shot in my life, but I'm all in for this one. As my, my wife being a physician, she, you know, reads the journals, the, you know, the, med the medical journals and all of that, trying to get the, the, the real deal behind what's happening. And she felt comfortable enough reading the journals and, and the pros and the cons of it to move forward with taking it. On top of the fact being the physician, you you know, she in front line to have to having to take it, but it, it made her feel more comfortable doing the due diligence to do the research and whatnot to, you know, to do that. I'm still skeptical, man. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I got a wife who's a physician. She like, man, I'm about to sign you up. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Let's you, you you ain't the only one, Nas. Dr. Oz <laughs> was skeptical. He was skeptical. So yeah. There's I'm a lot of skepticism. But I got a question for y'all. Does anybody know where we're you at? Like let him get that off like that and don't say nothing. <laughs> Who's there? Get, get get what off? Pause. The Nas, the Nas. I heard I heard it. All I right, heard it. Right. I mean, it's my sands, but you know, I'm gonna let him roll. Go ahead, go ahead. Go go ahead. In that dark uh, to keep. Marvin Gaye, go ahead and continue. <laughs> Oh my bad. What I do? You call your says <laughs> Nas. Go ahead. Hey, you, you call you call your says Nas. Nas. But man, so. listen, man, y'all. Anyway, my question was, all right, G, I got you, G. March <laughs> anniversaries. March anniversaries. Rare form. It's all good. My, nah, my question was, did anybody know where we're at with? Is it open to everybody now? Are they still doing the age groups? Uh, like, well, it, it, it's 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 no. state by state. So I know here right. in DC, they're still doing um, 65 and over. That's that's phase one. You got phase right. two, which will be, I think, 55 or 50 right. range. And then the last phase will be 40 and under. So, I mean, those are they, they breaking it down by three phases. Well, what's the no, phase? It, 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 so 65 it, and up. And then the next phase will be 55. I mean, I mean, 50 to 55 or 50 to 60. And then after 50 to 60, They'll go, uh, I think, like below fifty or below forty to the open general public. So yeah, and that, and that's yeah, just so, DC. I mean, every state has their own. Yeah, yeah. It, it's regulated. Like even from Ohio to Kentucky, it's regulated. Like Ohio is, is teachers and all that, but in Kentucky, essential workers. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry, Ohio's teachers, child care providers, and uh, poli police, uh, first police. responders. Fireman, that, that's right, Ohio. Uh, Kentucky is teachers, uh, grade school kids, and uh, central workers. Mm. So yeah, it, it's just, it, it goes by government. I mean, the governor comes over this. So who knows? Are you guys at all afraid that that we gonna you know? Because again, we have five hundred thousand people die like, in a year. You you remember at the beginning of this last year? This time we were. You know, I was even comparing this to, you know, flu. People's like, oh, you know, 10, 20,000 people die every year from the flu. We don't talk about that. But we've had a, we've had 500,000 people die in one year from this. Yeah. Remember, like, 45, I mean, said, 45 said we'll be back in two weeks. Remember? Oh, he two said weeks. two weeks, this will blow over. We'll It'll be back. blow over. It'll be over. <laughs> Everybody, everybody will be talking about how we overreacted. No, 500,000 lives were lost. And so are, is there any fear that, that we might be put, opening up too soon or, or doing like going gusto and, and, and not, hey, everybody gonna, ain't going to die. So whatever, we good. Everybody ain't going to die. Well, the thing is that you, you battling the two, you battling the two, two, two barriers, right? So yeah. You got half of the country that feel like taking it step by step, following the science is cool, right? But then you got the other half of the country that's like, fuck it, open everything <laughs> up, we good. I didn't want to wear a fucking mask anyway. So it's like the, the, the misinformation about the shit is still the number one threat. You got yeah, but me, it's, it's interesting. Saying no, half of motherfuckers saying yeah, but the third component is common sense. And that's the component everybody's fighting Go but ahead, it's Jack. interesting that it's only it's only uh it's only red states that's opening back up fully 
Right, exactly. I mean, it's not it's interesting. interesting. I, mean, I don't. I don't think that's no coincidence. And you know, there's yeah. there's one. I read a story about some people was about to contact ISIS because they was opening shit back up. Um, Texas. <laughs> Texas, like. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, but, but I mean that's another story. But I'll say I'll say this too, Nas. Let let let's be quite honest about this whole thing. We say. When you're giving out a number of 500,000, it has been 500,000 really with coronavirus. That's that's BS. It's, I mean, let's, uh, with the elderly and things like that, you know, hospitals were giving an extra bonus for saying it was coronavirus. So these numbers have been construed from day one. We don't know exactly what the exact data is from America, from uh, you know, saying China, from anywhere. All these numbers is messed up. Is we still being being uh, played by you know the government? That's just what it is. I mean, so you think you think that you still think that they lied? They're lying about the severity of the disease itself. No, I don't. I don't. I know clearly. Coronavirus is, is a is a bad deal. Like, there's no way. I mean, you, you can't you okay. can't be I'm a human. And understand? Like, it, it's not. But I'm saying is, uh, when they say five hundred thousand deaths, I don't believe it's been five hundred thousand deaths. I believe there's been people who've passed, and it's been different causes of them passing. But we just checked them off for coronavirus because it was so much going on that we had no choice to do. We we, we didn't have a chance to do exact research. Or a proper autopsy to figure out what was wrong uh, with that uh, person th- who uh, you, who's deceased now. So you do, you don't no. trust the validity. I, I, think, I think listen hashtag everybody's still lying at the end of the day. You don't you don't trust the validity of that number. No, mm-hmm. I don't. Okay. I'm not. I know it's bad. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got it's you. Hundred thousand. I understand. I don't. I don't. No, I don't think. I don't think uh, every every which one. Was, every uh, you don't believe every death was a coronavirus death or COVID. Right. Death. Correct. Here's, here's, an, here's another thing that to, to, to take into consideration, too. You know, I don't think and, and God bless everybody who was uh, uh, who, who passed from COVID. But right. I, I, I think that I know whole, people who did. Yeah, man. God bless them. me, too. And, and I, I don't think that, you know, like that number. Is I, I don't. I want to make sure I word this the right way. I don't feel like it holds as much weight anymore because I think that that number, right or wrong, I think that that number is what it was because initially in the beginning, we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like we had no clue how to Dang, how to how right. to treat it, how to act around well, the it. The general public it. didn't, but it appears but, but, that but, the government kind of knew a lot more than. But they regardless. Had. But but regardless, my, my point is now in present day, we all have a better hold or, or handle of how to deal with COVID. So right. it's just like if you hit the reset button right now, I guarantee you the number, if, if you compare it, and if there was no vaccine, the numbers that will have died from COVID will be different at the end of this year than it was of last year. You understand well, what I'm absolutely. saying? Absolutely. But but at the same time, like I don't I don't feel like I got a full understanding of COVID. Like I still don't know how you really get it. Nah, like, we I, I, but, I mean we've been I've been lucky but we're, not to get but it. We're, but we're more we we're more comfortable with with our actions now. Like I know I, I know what I'm comfortable with. Before I wasn't going to the grocery store. I was having everything delivered to my crib, but after a while, like okay, who was, wa- who was washing they? Who was washing they? Uh, the the <laughs> everything. <laughs> but that's who was what I'm saying. The groceries when they came. That's what I, we still washing <laughs> our shit. But I, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's that that's what we you know like that's that's kind of like the learning curve that we had to experience to get to this point. Mm-hmm. So I don't think that 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 number that 500,000 like that's what i mean when i say like it don't hold as much weight because we know how to deal with we we know how to how to live with covid for the most part right now i think that it don't hold as much weight because we just numb to number we numb to death now i just really believe that we numb to the idea 
of mass casualty and death. Like it don't even mean nothing no more when you say 20, 30,000 people died, 10,000 people died, 50,000 people. People like, eh, eh, people die every day. It's just what it is. I just feel like we've become extremely numb to it. I, I, I agree, I agree with that, Sam. Go ahead, Lo. No, I'm still ask your local uh, sports uh, uh, organizations, your National Football League, your National Basketball Association. I mean, clear, clearly, uh, some, some some data is wrong because if they're just allowing these big events still to go on uh, under their name, so I mean, I mean, I I I, I feel like. I mean, I, I kind of agree. I want to touch on, like, kind of what Dale said. I mean, I get what you're saying, Sands, that we are kind of numb to death. But I think people have a better understanding, kind of what Dale said, on how to move now. I don't think it's no coincidence. I'll just take, I'll just take a small sample size like this group, my, this podcast. You know, we, we, we talk all the time. We, we see, we, we kind of know how each other move. If you move a certain way, that's why I'm like, okay, I'm ready for the restrictions to be lifted because I know how to move now. You know, I feel, I really believe washing your hands, wearing a mask when you're in, in, in certain s- settings and social distancing, that shit is proven, man. It's proven. And I mean, I feel like you can kind of, you can kind of maneuver in, in this world among this because the thing is, they, they went through this. They compared it when the Spanish flu was coming out and how it went when it started and then they lost a lot of people then and how they were moving after that. You got to learn how to move. You got to know how to move. And I think we have a lot more knowledge now. And that's why that number to me is not as much because I don't know. Last year was it, it was real tricky. We didn't know anything. No shit. What to do? We didn't know yeah, nothing. We had a lot of mis- We had a lot of misinformation. Yeah, a lot. They even retracted and doubled back on a lot of stuff. Because we the said. only we the only country that lost as many lives as we did. Whether it was really? five hundred or like Lo said, maybe that number ain't yeah. as high. We I, the only country that lost. Yeah, that. that's true. I just saw a report. Vietnam. They haven't had. A single case in two months in the entire Man, country of Vietnam. Australia got the got a hold of it, and it wasn't until they had the Australian Open that they had a gang of cases of COVID over there. They had that and thing I to travel when nobody wearing masks around there. They had it so tight that nobody even wore masks because the COVID wasn't even there. It was amazing, but. Oh, I was going. Oh, I was going to say this. Go ahead, me. In closing, the one thing COVID has exposed is um, how it impact impacted our communities. For one, um, the disproportionate income, uh, how we eat, our diets, how we don't have access still to healthcare to keep ourselves healthy. Speak on. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be honest. I mean, one thing COVID that got me. It is focused on is keeping my immune system to a certain standard. Don't talk right? about that. You're right, yes, me. So, yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? You know, the best thing that happened to me was getting on my bike every other day, getting my body back to where it's supposed to be. So if I did get sick, at least my immune system was strong enough that it gave me a fighting chance and then sitting in the house, eating my fucking uh, spicy chicken McNuggets and shit. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm telling you, man, look at all the food promotions that came out since COVID. Fucking uh, fish sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, fucking spicy McNuggets, all yeah. types of shit that came out. They to don't fuck, even, to they fuck don't us even talk up. about like in that in so, this last year, how much of that frozen food and that, that shit we had to eat because of this COVID. Yeah. Restaurants was closed, you know, unless you was really for real cooking every single day. You was feed, you was doing the chicken nuggets, the chicken strips, the French fries, the frozen stuff that was easily accessible, and, and that that has a toll on your on like you said on the overall health. And, and look, liquor liquor sure. budgets went up like a motherfucker oh, too. Man. I was tearing down. Hey, shit. <laughs> hey, I mean, no, 
no shade to anybody who's affected by COVID. This is not a uh, a knock, but shout out to the uh, come on, Stephen to, to the p- pandemic bag getters who came up off COVID. Though I mean, I like a lot of people who got a lot of money <laughs> from this pandemic. Yeah, not and, everybody hey, suffered in the pandemic. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, we said that a long getters. time ago. Not everybody's suffering in this pandemic. <laughs> Shout out to the bad getters for the pandemic. You figured it All out. Right, fellas, you. <laughs> we, you know, we I, I wanted to get that feeling from y'all to see how things was going because we opening up. It's opening. Things is happening and we need to move on and just want to feel, get the vibrations, G. <laughs> and how y'all yeah. felt about <laughs> how y'all <laughs> felt about vibration. You know, what was going on with that? Vibrations. Um, but um Next, I want to throw at you guys. This is the this is the next thing on the on the list that I want to hit up on. Is this? I know we heard about Dr. Seuss in the news this week, pulling pulling a few books, six books from their from their conglomerate and um, and shelving those. I still question why that was made an announcement instead of just doing it. Kind of if you just do it and nobody knows about it. Is it really a big issue at all? Nope, not a big issue at all. But it made they made it a big issue by putting it out there. And since then, there's been obviously, just like we know in, in with the social media, things start to snowball. And now people are starting to call out for other things to be uh, snatched from shelves, literature, cartoons, other things that may have um, made people feel uncomfortable throughout uh, history or maybe now feel uncomfortable because they're reading it and realize that things shouldn't be as they are. We've had, what, the Washington football team changed their name in the last year. We've had the cancellation of, of uh, uh, what? Good luck trying to name everything. R. Kelly. Oh, hold on, you know, man, hold on. The, the, the <laughs> number one saying? thing. We, the number one thing that's that is stuck out to me, man, and I don't mean to laugh at this because it is fucked up. <laughs> no, they canceling Pepe Le Pew, cuz. <laughs> like, they really canceled Pepe Le Pew, nigga. Like, I grew up watching my man. You know what I'm saying? He was smooth, man. But Listen, man, but, it, but this is the thing. This is the question that I have for you guys. This is the question that I have for you. G- Hashtag me too. You you gonna <laughs> definitely be a person that I'm going. I need to chime in first on because you're in the entertainment, in the entertainment business. You're in, you know, you're in doing film. You, you know, everything that you deal with has to do with how people perceive your product, and what we're seeing now. I feel like with this with this cancel culture stuff is we're going. We're it's like retroactive stuff. Now we going back to see what made us feel uncomfortable. And then now we got to like eliminate that. Do you believe that cancel culture is real? Being in the entertainment industry, how do you feel about how this thing is being unrolled? Somebody could look at one of your old films that you did 10 years ago and say, oh, he was being you know, misogynistic towards women with this particular statement and we want him to not get this particular endorsement they need to abc need to cancel his show how do you feel about this uh it's absolutely real uh absolutely real it's, it's funny because i was just talking to, to this about i'm talking to some people about this last night on clubhouse um but i would just say it's real uh, how I feel about it is you gotta it's this it's this weird balance between being able to speak to what's how you feel about something in a moment, but you also be have to be able to kind of protect your future, right? Uh and the people that's more mindful of that have a better chance of not having it kind of come back to them in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you have to have enough weight about yourself to know that you're protecting against, you're leveraging your now against what your future is, uh, even in your comments about something that's pre- in the present. So hopefully. But don't you think happen. it? Don't you think it limits creativity, bro? 
you being able to speak to something? Because I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. I mean, yeah. one, one of the things with, with the First Amendment rights, right? First Amendment, yeah. that, that involves creativity. Saying, you know, because council culture now, from a political standpoint, yeah. that's been rolled over into the inter- entertainment landscape. Everybody now wants to retro retrofit what cancel culture really means and shit, right? Yeah. But some of that shit is just creativity in in, in the world of entertainment. Whether it's right, wrong, it's, immoral, it's creativity in, in in somebody's eye. I was really I'm not speak- saying it's right, but I'm just saying creativity as a as a as a whole is self expression. I mean, listen, you, what's in the where I think it's wrong. First of all, is you know how I look at it as being wrong is um, whatever you're allowed to do now in the present, right? People look at different than how they would look at. We may look at it five years from now. Absolutely. So, right, right. You know, like the word "small people" wasn't really around at some point. We used to call them something different, right? So, and it was accepted then. So just just to give an example or something, and um, I think what ends up happening is because it's not we're not held to or in the moment of what the future will possibly present, then uh, a lot of the shit that we kind of done at different times can kind of resurface for us. Gee, does so it? Yes, it does. does it it does limit you presently, but in a but previously you were kind of living in the moment. Uh, based on what was allowed is how I like to look at it. G, were, were, are you affected in your in your creation and your creativity of things at this point now? Thinking of that, is that ever in the back of your mind, or are you kind of clear of that and able to create without, you know, what I'm saying without yeah. that obstruction? Yeah. Um, yes. I'm I'm somebody that's you know I, I was able to say that earlier because I'm somebody that's kind of. I'm not always be perfect, right? But I am somebody that's uh, mindful enough to be thinking about what could potentially be uh, can harm me later. Unfortunately, so yeah, it does limit how far you can lean into something because you know what I mean, like how you can respond to something or what type of art you want to make. You know what I mean? You do have to be mindful because you want to be inclusive as possible. Because his outside of you not being able to. Uh, you want to make your audience, right, the people that's entertained by what you're doing, to all feel like they can uh, take part in it. And if there's any divider, um, you know, or not, you know, uh, they feel not included, then that's a reason for a piece of your audience to be gone. And for me, it's all about the audience. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the art, but it's all about the audience experience uh, and whatever I'm providing. So, Hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, but I got a question. So, yeah. uh, not to cut you off, Nas. Go ahead. But is that a struggle with you because of your pigment, mm. or of your of your, uh, your 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 background just being just a, a uh, director or you know a producer? It's a combination of both. You know what I mean? I think I think for me, right? I'm 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 a black man. I show up as a black man first before you know I'm a director. So I'm always thinking about that. One, two. I'm thinking about my preserving my family's opinion, right? Or, or them being affected by anything that I do. That's my mama. That's my kids. That's my wife, right? So all that's kind of rolled up in. You know, and my affiliation with y'all, my friendship and, and familyness with y'all, like, you know, y'all are, you know, indirectly, y'all are linked to me. If I was to do something crazy, right? So I gotta protect y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 another way to look at it, right? Um, because then let's say they cancel me, then who's to say they gonna anybody gonna fuck with us on the podcast, right? right. So that's that's the type of extension uh, extent that I have to really think about. Um, my actions, my thoughts, what I feel. And as a director, then comes the art. You know what I mean? I'm I'm about art, bro. You know what I mean? And I try to tell the best story I possibly can 
um, according uh, closer to my vision for it. And then I say, how is everybody represented and, 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 and respected um, and can show up to support this piece? That's, I, I, it's like almost like a spell check, right? You write something, you're about to put something out right before the edit. You have a few rounds before it goes to the public. And in those, I watch it, I write it, then I read it, I, I shoot it, then I watch it. You know what I'm saying? And then I, 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 you know, put the music on it. Then I look at it all different phases and I'm doing spell. I'm doing like almost like a spell check to make sure or filter before it goes out to uh, the world. So I have like a few different ways before it gets to the world and so many other eyes, my team's eyes on it before it hits the world. So hopefully we catch it before it's too crazy. And if I didn't know about it, it's my last thing. I'm the first person to say, look, educate me right i don't know this um you know i i'm 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 from the cloth of yeah that might have been wrong but there has to be a teachable moment so that person can truly you know take that in and hopefully try to redirect their their, their efforts that's how i look at it so hey but you know what this cancel culture shit for me i mean i get it man it's it's a part of our culture now and i get it mm -hmm. but we got to call a spade a spade. Sometimes this cancel culture shit be based on lies and, and, and misinformation rather than the actual oh. fucking evidential or support of we can really cancel an idea or a thought or a person. You see what I'm saying? And that's so, not even oh, real, too. Is it, is, it, is it mean? Be like, can you you can't cancel a person. You can't. I mean, with these platforms, you sure we can. got some motherfuckers up out of here. That's for sure. <laughs> Where Bill Cosby you, you, at? You can you can get a person and not get a, a, an endorsement, but like like to this idea of canceling somebody is for one is not new, right? It's just about somebody using their platform to start giving up information but that makes people be like, uh, maybe Nash, you Nash, have that Nash, but Nash, 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 the platform where, where, is the hold, weapon. We're homeboy from from the shy at. Dumb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, hey, that, 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 hey, hey, low. It was All Star Weekend in the A. What, what was, what was Tip at? <laughs> Facts. Yeah. See Tip at all? I ain't see no yeah. videos from Tip. Yeah. But, look, but, you but can cancel somebody, man. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, as far as like, but th this idea is not a new idea, right? This is, this isn't a new thing. Tip is no, it's an not. It's not. No, no, it's not. You know who the, you know who the first, you know who the first, you know who the first. <laughs> Culture canceler was who Christopher yeah. Columbus, nigga. You stupid, man. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Columbus was the first canceler culture person. That I but, you, but you know what? To that note, but you know what? I gotta say something yeah. about this. Okay, th this is why I'm like on the fence because canceling it isn't changing mindsets. Yeah, that's true. You, you're you're Man, trying. How far to... do we go, Sans? How far so back do we go? But to what cancel? I'm saying is, that's my canceling point. to me right now, the way they're doing is okay. Well, we got rid of it, so we're good. No, no, we're not uh, because don't the make mindset it right. is still there. So you canceling it, you just got rid of that, but you still think that that all our women are look like Aunt Jemima. You see what I'm saying? So you can cancel it, but your mindset hasn't changed. Absolutely. You know, Listen, and I, when I was little, I didn't even. The problem that I have with it is, you know, I think there that you you can kind of temper with Pandora's box a little bit here because when I was a kid, I watched Bugs Bunny. I seen them black crows in the zoot suits, but as a kid, I wasn't thinking on that level. <laughs> so to me, I just saw some black crows in a suit. I didn't realize it till I got older. Like, damn, them was but black folks. Sense, but or, did, or that, did that plant a seed in you psychologically? Because because yeah. that's I'm, it, I'm with. Go ahead, Dale. I'm go go ahead. Dale. Wait, but what? what, what well, let ahead, me finish. Bro. But that but that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm on the fence with it. Because when you go down to the youth, we're doing things that's above the intelligence of where they're watching it. We're talking about. I was a little kid watching 
watching Yosemite Sam right, and, right. And, and, and Speedy Gonzalez. Absolutely. Speedy Gonzalez was one of my favorite characters, dog. Absolutely. I wasn't looking at it like, damn, they really fucking the Mexicans up by doing that. Yep. I wasn't thinking like that. <laughs> right. I wasn't hey, Jose. Hey, Jose. Hey, Jose. Yeah. I love, I love Speedy Gonzalez. You know That's what I'm saying? So up. damn. I just buzzards, all of that shit, bro. All of that. You see it now, but what I'm saying, so that's why it's like, eh. but are we really doing the follow up work on why we are canceling listen, that culture? You're just canceling it, but why? Listen, man, it, go listen, into man. it. This is ahead, what Dale. this, this ahead, is Dale. what this is what my wife describes as checking the box. You're just doing something to say that you do it. Exactly. And I'm I'm and, and this is my stance has been the same even with the Nike Nike Juneteenth thing like symbolism is cool i can i i'm i'm cool with symbolism what i'm not cool with is selective symbolism you picking and choosing what you want to be symbolic about you know right, what i'm right. saying so if y'all want to be if, if y'all if y'all want to uh, uh be representative and, and change culture don't be selective with that shit Let's go all the way back. Let's do some real shit. Let's let's fuck up this constitution. Let's get rid of these these monuments. Like let's not be selective with this shit. Let's 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 redo all of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But at the, when it when it all boils down to it, they're just trying to do it to check the box just so that they can say that they did it and like, hey, you know, because they understand the power of Twitter and social media. When the angry mob comes at your ass, yeah. you know, you got a shitload of problems, but you try to get ahead of it and say, hey, we we check the box. So selective I'm, symbolism is bullshit. Like, let's let's go all the way. Let's go. If we going to do a deep dive and let's not do a deep dive in some shit. Let's do a deep dive in, in everything. everything and fix this shit. Everything. I, I was reading about how Bill O'Reilly, y'all remember back in the day, Bill, o back in the day, like, you know, some years ago, Bill O'Reilly was on a campaign and canceled Ludacris from the, the Pepsi campaign. Yep. Ludacris had, yep. had just landed a Pepsi, you know, endorsement. Yep. And that's what that was big for like hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like it was yep. a huge deal. Oh, oh, yeah. Mr. Talking about him, oh, talking about him degrading women and shit. Yeah, and then this fuck motherfucker end up he it, end up getting rape charges and shit. Absolutely. And they ended up and they ended up pulling mm. his endorsement and all of that other stuff. And so this ain't a new idea. I just feel like 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 you said, Dale, the rabbit hole we falling down is 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 too far. Even um um uh, Dave Chappelle had talked about this at some point in, in his stand-up, just saying. We, we throwing out the baby with the bathwater when you keep, because what's going to happen is the people who are now, you know, through this last few, four years, been open and honest about how they feel, start to go back into their holes and start doing the stuff underground again, doing the stuff underneath the surface instead of being honest about where they stand. And so like, that's, you know, for me, is it's like, where, what is the, what is the, what are you trying to get at with this canceling stuff? Where are you where are you going with it? And, uh, and oh no, like you said, if you're gonna go with it, go all the way, bro. But, but you, now, you, Harvey Weinstein movies, we doing we got to get rid of everything, right? Like if you was everything. involved with it and you was a a, a pariah, then you gotta go, right? But I or mean, it's, it's 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 all politics, dog. That's what it's for now. Boy, all about getting behind mm. somebody, getting behind a certain movement. And you use that tool or that weapon of cancel culture to get votes, to to cipher dollars, and that's all it's about, man. I mm, mean, dang. like like Dale said, it's it's selective, it's weaponized. Like that bitch. I'm sorry, I almost. <laughs> I was about to call <laughs> but but that 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 whatever that uh the the House Minority Leader. He's this cat was instead of passing a bill to help people that need shit like money okay money this nigga sat in his fucking de in, the, in, the, in the office reading dr seuss books re defending something that, that, that didn't even make any sense i'm like dog they pay you um over two hundred thousand dollars dog to help the people and you he didn't even read the book that was in question he right he, he read dr cool, seuss to, to make Listen. a statement i'm like damn stupid as Listen. fuck 
Hey man, all I can say is when people, you know, like with the, the cancel culture shit, when they, they digging up all this dirt, this, this and that, if black people, if we if we dug up the dirt, I'm talking council, like the constitution, like if we really went deep, man, I really feel we like- We already this, know. Bro, we say, I feel right. like- I, I feel like- Huh? What is it to dig up? Deal, deal. What is it to dig up? We know. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying it's nothing that we don't Tell already me. know. Tell but me. I'm saying what like, why we not? If we put the shit on, if we put the shit on blast, like, hey, they just put they just put Peppy the Pew on on blast, right? You know they what put man? Peppy the They don't. I think blast. they purposely they right. they purposely are, are doing these things. They checking the boxes so that we can't go down that rabbit hole and start pulling out these tricks. Because once we start pulling this shit out. You know, it's undeniable. They're gonna have to start. They they're gonna have to. And I, I gotta be careful. Again, man. Like, That's why I said. Be careful I had, what I said. I pause too, man. Like, yeah. Let me let me be careful like, on what. Listen, I Listen, man. They talk about they Pepe they, they want to get rid of Pepe, Pepe Le Pew. So Go look, ahead, so look. Let me Pepe let me Le break Le down the Pepe Le Pew, man. So basically, they went back and looked at all them cartoons about Pepe Le Pew. And he a rapist. For, for yeah, for for those who don't know who for you youngest that don't don't know who Pepe Le Pew was. <laughs> He was a he was a black French cat that lived in France. He was a skunk. No, he was a skunk. Oh, skunk. I'm sorry, a skunk. I say he looked like a cat to me, but a skunk, right? He was so he was a skunk that lived in 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 the in the in the, in the I want to say in the French P Paris the part of Paris. <laughs> and his whole objective every episode was to find him his love, but his approach <laughs> was Pepe just you know, Pepe was, was aggressive. He was a little. Man. He was slightly, he was slightly <laughs> aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Slightly. Pepe was kind of goat for real. He was kind of <laughs> goat. I ain't gonna lie to you. But. I ain't standing. All I'm that. saying, if if you gonna get rid of Pepe Le Pew, but but negative 45 can still possibly run for the presidency again, I, I just yeah. don't understand. But how again, this all works. that goes back to what Dale said. Dale's wife said Elective. actually so beautifully. You just check in the box. Yep. Hey, we did that. Right. We did that. Remember, we canceled that for y'all. Remember? That's it. We did that. We're okay. We're, we're okay moving. Let, we're we're you, moving on. That's what I mean. You got to cancel everything in. Bugs Bunny. You got to cancel Tom and Jerry because they had, oh, Thomas, the la black lady you can never seen. Oh, yeah. Aunt Jemima was, yeah, she was in the joints. You right. The old version. Yep. Man, yep. Tom and Jerry, you couldn't even see the lady above her breast. And she was but always heavy set yep. with house shoes yep. on, yep. dark skin. <laughs> Thomas, you got to get wait, rid of wait, that. Wait, wait, Stan. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here though. And I mean, this kind of touches on what G was talking about, about that creative space. That was the times. So a lot of those people that were creating that, they feel they wasn't doing nothing wrong. That was the time. And they were allowed we lived to. In at that particular time. That don't right. make it right though. No, I, it don't. And that's why I was, that's what I was trying to understand with what G was saying, cause Cause I get it in terms of, of entertainment, but you know, like still, like I, I just feel like you gotta, you gotta, that, that doesn't make it okay. So but, Dale, do you agree or disagree with going back and changing literature, history or whatever based on people feeling uncomfortable with it now? Man, yeah. um, 1856, what are, yes 1619. No. This is a yes or no question. I'm, I'm gonna get to everybody. I'm gonna get to everybody. Yeah, we gotta we yeah man we we gotta go back and yeah I mean because if 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 that mean yeah yeah absolutely we gotta go back and change the shit we gotta go back and change it even if it means changing something that I personally benefited from man right is right so yeah yeah double back what Lowe said sixteen nineteen reparations thirteenth yeah. amendment That's yeah this 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 revisit all of it fuck That's it. all of right. it. Exactly. <laughs> That's all my say, I say no. Fears, you say no? I say no because there's no education and follow-up with the canceling. And if you're not going to have any education and follow-up, then it doesn't matter. So no. Okay. G. Give me my Pepe Le Pew. Give me my Pink Panther. <laughs> give me my Aunt Jemima. Okay. G. G, where you stand with this? You, you want... Do you want to go back and, and change 
some of this history, change some of this literature, some of this animation, some of this entertainment, or you want things to stay the way they are and progress from here? Wow, that's <laughs> that's tough, man. Um, yeah, that's tough. Damn. Art, you you a person art, just talked about artistry yeah, and that's art. What, that's, that's that's where I'm at with it. You know what I mean? Because art, you know. That's tough, man. He's supposed to come to me last. I'm the artist, man. Don't we go to me <laughs> you last? You last. Me. Our last. Everybody go last. You last. See, he thinking uh, about everything. He like, yeah, man. yeah, I'm, yeah, because you have to, right? You know, if you, yeah, let's, let's say, let's you go to Aunt your Mama. That people, that's family, that's attached to that. Their legacy is different if they not getting paid off that, like they do right. the property, exactly, whatever they attach, and people they sent to school, people they paid medical bills. All that's different. You're erasing that history, right? You know what I'm right. saying? I'm not saying that, that their family is any bigger than what you should do for a whole as a generation. I'm just saying there's a lot of things that you have to change with that. And um Yeah, a lot. I don't know. I, I just, here's what I'll say. I mean, I I gotta cop out. I, I because you know, I'm an artist and I believe in what you make is of the time and that's how you appreciate it right you you appreciate spike lee for the, all the things he did because of the time it was essence it was it was essential to what was going on right it Absolutely. was speaking to that and that's what we do as artists so but there is a version in <laughs> a waddle between the two and say hey here are the things that was wrong with this because of how we you know now we know that this is wrong like like feezy said he didn't even know those were black folks in those suits, right? Then there comes the education piece that Feezy was just asking for. Maybe, you know, it's not a change, but along comes like, as long as we don't mute that or silence that, right? Um, freedom of speech or freedom of, to be an artist. And then it comes with attachment of, hey, this is why this was wrong, um, considered to be wrong. And these are the people that they was marginalizing or um, talking about in, in the aspect. I think there's some version of the two in my world. That's what's up. Oh, and real quick before you move on, Naz, I did oh, during quarantine, I did a research study that I was that I was asked to be a part of about the Aunt Jemima uh, pancake syrup. There, just so y'all know, they're going to be changing that name. Just so y'all know, I think they it's going to be completely different. Yeah. There's not going to be a black woman on there. So to back to what G just said, like you said, if that that family or anybody connected that benefited from that, it's no more for them now. Yeah, because there that that is diff, that that is going to change. You'll probably see it in the next year and a half or so. They're changing <laughs> the name, the label, everything. They already changed it. They Low already changed the label, man. not the name, but they already changed the label. They, the, don't the name is coming because that's what the research project that I was a part of was doing. It gave me all these different names Exclusive of the new surf content. Hey, that batch for the takes the same. That's all I'm saying. We need this for Sundays, man. It may be the same batch. <laughs> it may be the same batch. That's all I'm saying. Fuck all that. You better get that old cabin. <laughs> Hungry old, Jack, not the old cabin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, I appreciate that insight. Obviously, man, that you know that's that's this is a whole new thing that we all got to be careful of, right? Even doing this podcast, somebody bring up an old podcast. You said this, you misogynistic. You're this. You're you're hateful. You're and then and then you got to start trying to explain yourself because you were living in the moment, and it's all it's all relative. Nah. It's all relative. Yeah, you know, it's, and I got to give up to nephew Dell because before we started this podcast, he was extra scared because of the same reason. If y'all remember that, yep, you know, yeah, he was. He, he was. Too, he had too much to lose. To Cautious be. man, I wouldn't oh, say. Oh yeah, so don't get Scared. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Low, oh, you stupid, Low. Oh, Q, hey, Q, Q up, shook ones. Q up, shook ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, meaning like, yeah, he was cautious. Classic. 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 
It, so, hey, listen, yeah, it, yeah. it ain't such things as a halfway crook, so I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey, <laughs> took ones. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm transition this into into our into our our one of our segments that that we love so dearly to stack up, and since we we were talking about the cancel heat, culture, dog. there's 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 one there's one thing that I do. This you know this ain't gonna be necessarily this first question might not be as fun as y'all think, but oh shit. I, hey man, this is listen. You put me in charge of the cast. This is what happens. You <laughs> hear me? So. Uh, one of the, one of the things that I like would like to cancel if I could cancel anything in the world type of culture I would like to cancel is um, men uh, abusing women. This is Women's Month. We in March. This mm-hmm. is Women History Month. Shout out to all the women out there, all of our mothers. We want to just blow kisses and love and energy to all of y'all, mm-hmm. our sisters, our aunties. Yes. Our, our nieces, you know, Facts. women women have ho- always hold us up and, we, and they have a special place, I know, in all of our hearts. We always support and, 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 and just champion women, you know, in all of our cast when we can. We love you guys so much. But there was an incident that happened a couple months ago that kind of bothered me. And it was a situation in Harlem where a young woman was going into a bodega. She was harassed by some some gentlemen outside of the bodega. I won't no, not gentlemen. They these are uncultivated weeds of Animals. society. Right. Suckers, right. idiots, what they is. assholes, whatever you want to call them. And but because she didn't in she didn't engage into their rhetoric, they ended up following her to her car and assaulting her, biting her, beating her. Um, it was four or five guys to my knowledge, and it just did not get, um, it didn't get enough traction for me that I, I, it just bothered me. It really did. It bothered me a lot. And so the, the first stack of question for the night that I wanted to hit you guys with is you got, you're out with your significant other on your way into the parking lot to get your whip you overhear some arguing between a male and a female. That discussion gets, becomes to get a little physical. Do you A, engage, or do you B, leave it be? Mm. And I'm opening that to any of you who are willing to answer first. I th- Damn, you, hey, you you I fuck you fuck motherfuckers up on this you, one. You did. Well, no, nah, ain't fuck me up. I mean, uh, put the wife, uh, whoever with the bed, engage because that could be my sister, or my wife. I mean, I've always felt that way, and I mean, as a black man, uh, I, I've engaged before, and uh, I still will. Probably won't be the best thing to do, but I always thought like, damn. That's somebody's sister. That's somebody's, you know what I mean, cousin. Somebody, well, you know, look like me. So, yeah, I, I engage, unfortunately. We're the right or wrong. Um, I'm going to second that. I'll probably engage myself. I mean, by the grace of God, hopefully it, it ain't my time. If, you know, if I walk into a, a, a situation, you know, and, and I don't have the proper equipment with me. You don't have no pistol or nothing. You ain't got no heat on. I mean, well, yeah, I I think the the good Samaritan in me will probably engage, but just, you know, hopefully that guy's on my side and everything can work out. I'll say this. um, It depends on, like, where the situation is at because, you know, if, if, if things get too hostile, I think instinctively like I would just do something but you know like if I got time to think about it and process it like if it's just like light and it's just like gradually like building up building up building if I got to think about it too much then I'm I won't do it but instinctively like I I, I would 
I would, you know, like if I if I'm walking out the door and I see dude going up against somebody's head, instinctively I'll go over there and do something about it. But if it's a build up and I got to think about it, probably won't do it. Sans, uh, for me, I uh, like low. I've I've actually been in this situation one two. Two, two, possibly three different times. I'm to answer your question. I'm all day going to engage. Now, to what Dale just said, I fortunately, when those things happen, it's just been me. If I got my kids or my wife or ex-wife with me, I, I got it. I got. I'm gonna think twice just because I their their safety and concern is my is is going to trump anything. <laughs> but luckily, I've, I've not, you know, I've, I've broken up fights before um, and gotten into it with a parent whose daughter was fighting another child. This is right down the street. Got into it with him, you know, because he was sitting back letting his daughter fight. Not same situation, but I would engage um, only because. Um, you got to, man, I, I've seen too many things where people just go by and let people struggle and and and, and be downtrodden and I, I gotta I gotta help. I gotta help. So I'm I'm gonna engage Nat. I'm gonna engage Sans. All right. G. Yep. Um I'm I'm I mean I'm all in unless again I got my little ones with me. I can't put them in harm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, for the most part I'm there. That's that's what that's how I'm built. What if, what if what if your significant other is asking you not to? It's funny. I've been in that situation. Rephrase the question <laughs> one more time, so I can. So so I mean, the oh, so so again, you're you're in a you know you you and your wife are out, and you guys are on your way to your car. You mm -hmm. hear a guy and a and a female arguing, and it starts to get physical. Yeah. And and if you're OK with with intervening, mm -hmm. what if your significant other says, no, 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 don't do that. I don't know. <sighs> um, my wife's smarter than me. You know, um, so. She might be sensing something that I might not sense, cause I'm I'm bull. I'm you know I'm going in, uh, so it's a great chance I'll listen to her. That's um, true. You know what I mean. So, you know, it's a reason why. You know, the reason why she is who she is to me is because she can. She has that sense when I can't. You know, when I can't think three things through, or you know, that's the reason why they say if they a better half. You know what I'm saying. So. But it'll be hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? It'll be hard, you know, because here's the thing. I grew up I grew up in a household. You know, this is me being vulnerable, being sharing. I, being a, I grew up in a household where as a little kid, you know, I saw my mother getting out in my heart, you know, her, you know, her man um, putting her hands on her. And I remember being a little dude. Um, I remember being a little dude and um, feeling like a coward. Mm. Um, feeling like I was letting my mother down, wishing my pops, my pops was around because that wasn't my pops. And I just told myself, if this continues until I'm old enough to put him on his head, I probably would have killed him. Luckily, obviously, it didn't come to that. Um, my mother's my best friend. 
know, she's been my mother and my father my entire life. So when you ask me stuff like that, it's not just about me. I mean, it's not just about that person. It's about what the fuck I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? And um, so it's almost of, I feel like I owe it to the world in certain circumstances um, to do what, I, do what I wish I could have done when I was a little boy. Mm. And the day did come when I was old enough. I turned 16. And um, it was a hell of a day, I'll tell you that. And I ain't never looked back since. No. Appreciate you sharing that too, G. Yeah, for sure. Blessings, bro. Yeah. For sure. So, so for me, my dad always told me when I was young, he said, son, don't get yourself involved in grown folk business. Yep. And don't find yourself involved in somebody else's marriage or situation. And so I'm not saying that he told me that to say walk away from a situation like that. I'm just saying that he told me that in his, in his wisdom, knowing what he knew. So I had a, a scenario that I got involved in as well. I saw a woman being assaulted and, and I stepped in because I thought that that's what I was supposed to do. And in that moment, she actually like balked at me. Like she, she came at me like, right. you know what I'm saying? Stay out of this, this ain't none of your business. You know what I'm saying? While dude had his hand like, I'm trying to get his hands off around her neck. Like she looking at me like, you know what I'm saying? You better get your hands, like get your hands off my man type stuff. So I don't, I, you know, I, I agree with all of you. I, I poised the question because it is a very sensitive question. And, and I would hope that I would do the right thing in the right moment. Like you, you know, you never know, but like, like all of you said, I think we all have grown up in, a, in areas that we know what this might mean if we engage in this particular situation. Right. You, might, you, you have to be prepared for combat. You have to be prepared to defend yourself because if this dude is beating on her, he gonna turn that energy on you. No. So, you know what right. I mean? Like, it is a very slippery slope, you know, kind of a situation that you have to find yourself in. Go ahead, Dale. No, because all I could think, is, like I said, if I think about it enough, the way my mind works, all I can think about is, dog, my kids. I need to get home to my kids. I don't know what this dude got. I don't know if he got a weapon. I don't know if he got a knife. I don't know if he got a gun, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I willing to put my life on the line and not come home to my kids to get involved in somebody else's shit. So that these are all of the scenarios that my mind would would Absolutely. would go into, and that's why I said if I would think long enough, I wouldn't do it. But if I come out of the out the gate and I see see it going down instinctively, I would jump in. But if you give me enough time to think, no. That's an honest answer. Uh, man. I, I mean, appreciate that, bro. I appreciate I ain't that. Never do. I ain't gonna never, never let no man just be no woman like that. Yeah. I mean, right? I mean, nah, I ain't going. I mean, I, my wife know that too. I mean, whether that's, uh, I, I, I tell you this, I feel more comfortable if I was at the in in the city. I, I think I would re really react out of town. I think that, that matters too. Out of town, I, I think I would mind my business, but in the city. Uh nah, bro. Cause yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Dang, bro. That's a good. Point. Very, very good point. Very that's good, good point. point. That's a good point, Lowe. Yeah, it is. All right. Real quick, All right. real quick, real quick, last before we move on. That was a great question, by the way. But yeah. to 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 opposite of what Dale said. Say if you at work. In that scenario. Is hitting home with your mother, sister, I would want somebody to help them. We don't help people no more, man. I've seen videos, people be hurt and people will walk right over them and don't even help them. True. So 
to me, that is what motivates me to engage because my mom, she don't drive. She catch the bus every day to work. I believe. She'd have been mugged. She'd have been somebody stole on my mom before in a car. She was walking to work. They hanging out the car. They stole on her. Damn. She said it was people that walked by that didn't even ask her if nothing was wrong, dog. I'm not making this shit up, bro. Yeah, yeah. I hate hearing that. I man. agree. So, so for that, I got to help you, man. I at least got to attempt. Because I, if, if, if Jen, my mom, my aunt. Yeah. I want somebody to help them. Right. Right. Do something. Call 911. You may not Scream even out loud. Them. Yeah, do, do something. Do something, man. Do Scream, something. yell, do something. So I, you know, but that's that's my motivation. I got I gotta step in. I appreciate your honesty too, Jay. All right, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a transition to this last stack up. This will be a little lighter. Be a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That bro, that you wasn't a stack up, now, man. man. Yeah. This, I don't know that, shit, nigga, that was not a stack up, nigga. You, <laughs> that was a stack up. <laughs> right. Hey, listen. <laughs> No, nah, bro. Wait, what what did G say? Who in control, nigga? Who who that was a who said this? Up. Hey, who well, said I like this? I like man. G G, get, take the stack up back, bro. <laughs> 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 you get too deep, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. You know your boy over I'm here sweating you right now. Damn. I'm not giving you roses every time. You know your boy. Mm. All right, all right. So this last stack up, this will be a little bit more fun. All right. So the last one we're gonna deal with today is you walking in the you walking out you doing your little morning jog you walking the dog you going to take the trash out whatever it is right you going out you walking around your little neighborhood you see a duffel bag you got a louis duffel bag and when you look in the bag <laughs> it's got 5 million dollars in the bag and a piece of paper with blood stains on it, with one word that says in bold print, don't. <laughs> Are you Dude. writing a script right now, bro? Gee, <laughs> right. Take the bag. Gee, that's a movie. Yes. Do you leave the bag. I Man. actually, I actually like that, guys. Nah, so I might have to. We have to talk. Go ahead. <laughs> might as well copyright it now before we air this episode. You got five. You walking. You walking your dog. You out. You jogging. You like shit. Somebody dropped a Louis bag out here. What's? You open the bag. It's five million dollars, but it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a letter a in big bag. Blood stain letter with the word don't. Do you take it or do you leave it? Let me get my low on real. Let me get my low on real quick. Where was it at exactly? <laughs> <laughs> was it in the middle of the street? Like, we ain't doing none of that. We ain't doing this, none of that. Uh, and, but let me tell you why that matters. Great questions. I gotta tell Great you. Questions. Let me tell you why that matters. Great question. That matters. Because if that shit is just like in the middle of the street. That's just like, and that's five million dollars. Five million dollars is, you know, that's a something that's accountable, right? Somebody <laughs> missing that. So, are, are my kids in the car with me? We go to the airport. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I told you what was happening. I gave you the layout. You walk the dog. Hey, hey, you walk the dog. It's cameras. It's cameras everywhere too, nigga. Right. That's what I'm saying. You know. You know the scenario. Five million dollars. A sign, a letter that says "Don't." Blood stains on it. Nah, you okay, gotta hold on, Dale. Context, Dale. Hold on, Dale. Before you answer that question, don't get yourself in no motherfucking <laughs> trouble. <laughs> right. You know what I'm talking about. You I, I I'm can't answer, about. man. <laughs> <laughs> I got I you back. I, I know. I know back. why you can't answer. That's don't I'm answer a, that I'm a question. Off the hook, Hell, man. No. Sam, <laughs> what you doing? Good. Chances <laughs> make champions, easy. Chances make champions, baby. So, y'all know my line of work, and uh, <laughs> I see I see money on the floor all the time. 
Do you? All the time. Damn. But I mean, guess I what? Imagine. I can imagine. Drunk ain't folks in the, in the casino nobody touching that dropping shit. all kind of bread. Absolutely. Ain't nobody touching that shit. Because to me, that's a setup. Honey pot. That's a what setup. What kind of money you talking though? I didn't. I didn't see a hundred. I didn't. I didn't see a hundred. Two. No. Three hundred dollar bills sitting right below a slot machine. Talk of five million cents. Yeah. Nah, but you got life changer. No, no, no. So, so, but so, so don't gotta, focus on the amount. The, the the point that I'm getting at is somebody just said it. There's cameras everywhere. So, damn. Is three? I had to look at it as is three hundred dollars worth it? No. Maybe not. Now five milli. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, okay. all right. So, Sam, all right. Check this out. Since y'all want to put the little camera thing in, you in the woods, you you ain't no cameras around. Nice. You walking, oh man, walking nice. don't adjust, nice. Don't adjust your motherfucking. Qu- yeah, qu- don't don't do it. Tell them nice. y'all y'all nice over here nice. thinking too much. I need some answers. I'm, I'm gonna answer. I, hey, you question. I'll answer things. your question. I'll answer your question. Five milli don't. I'm picking it up, bro. Period. I'm 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 okay. I'm gonna answer mine. Since we in the pandemic, I got gloves in my car. I'm gonna put some gloves on, and I'm taking some of that money, and I'm gonna leave the rest there. Right. And I'm out. This is this is hypothetical, man. I can answer this. All right. It's <laughs> right. It's a hypothetical <laughs> question. Hypothetical. I'm, I'm hypothetical. Hey, hypothetical. I'm grabbing as much as I can hold and stuff in my pockets, but I'm leaving that bag there. I'm leaving that note there, and I'm leaving some money it's the there. Same death for a hundred thousand that you it's put in your same, pocket bro. for the five it's million. Say don't, don't. So, don't. so take it. All right. So I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking that bread, bro. So, I, <laughs> so unlike, unlike them two, my methodology is gonna be a little different because I ain't you. walking away in, empty-handed. So thank you. I'm like accidentally kicking over the bag. Like I trip. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not touching you know, that bag. So I'm taking dog, money. Uh, w- w- whatever, you know, I'm, I'm like, oh, shit. You accidentally trip. Yeah, right. Oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> you know, oh, this is good Samaritan, right? <laughs> Bro, so, this is this yeah. the play that I would do if I was hypothetically. I would call and I would turn it in. I would report it. That's what I was about to but, say. I'm when I report it, but it report, I'm not, I wouldn't report that it was five million that I found. Exactly. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Thanks, Dale. Oh, yep. so, so, huh? Thank you, Dale. Yeah. You don't yeah. think the niggas that wrote the note don't <laughs> know they, how much money they had in there? <laughs> look, it's in the, it's in the hands of the authorities. Like, yep. but what about the dudes who money so, that hey, is? You so wait a minute. See you? So here's and the low. TV, I turned, in, turned in the money. In Four million dollars. So here, hey, here, here's money. the low answer, right? Like, am I coming from happy hour? <laughs> um, is this is, is this is this? Am I on my way to the club? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do do I need a little something to to set the night out? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> am I in Vegas? We going up? Am I we in going Vegas? up tonight? <laughs> we taking that money, man. <laughs> Low, what man, you doing? Man? Imagine, yeah, you dog, you you on your way to 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 a little function, and you just man, my night going up. They gonna be like, <laughs> Rose in the house? <laughs> Damn, niggas, nigga get ordered fifteen bottles. Low, right. ain't taking that bread. Low, you ain't taking that back. To quote the great Aristotle Meek Millie. I used to pray like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> hey, hey, Lo. I used to pray like this Lo. and shine like this. What? Lo. Listen, listen to hey. this. Hey, Ch- chance to make sure bags he got. Hey, hey, Lo, hey, Lo, what you right. doing with that blood? Yeah, stain? G. Oh, no. Listen, hey, get the bag. Baby, shit, get the kids, moms. We move it. Hey, sis, shit, hey, meet me, 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 me at the airport. Right, <laughs> shit, facts. Go make it work. I'm, I'm Don't sorry, pack we nothing. gone. <laughs> I can make five, Don't I can, I, I, listen, I can, I, I can make five the long way work. I can pray <laughs> like this and shine like this. 
<laughs> low light. Like, pray low for this. You know what they listen, can do with $5,000? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Listen. Hey, hey, the, the good Lord that blessed us today. We out of here. We going to listen. Hey, we, we gone, man. Listen. No more PCP. I'll I, I see y'all about you know, me. I'll see y'all a little something. <laughs> what did I say? All, <laughs> right, right, Jay. Hey, hey, that's where you going. Jay, that's we where you going. <laughs> listen, y'all be Alicia cool. Come, you I, go, listen, you go to Helici Castle? <laughs> listen, hey, we going somewhere. We're we, we going to forget about this. We'll be gone for a little bit. I'm going to see a little man. postcard. Gone to November. Beaches, man. Yeah, man, I, I, I appreciate all the you know honesty, know I mean? gentlemen. I I'm gonna have to listen to hair come what back you, with y'all. What you say, Nas? What you say? Hmm. Hey, man. <sighs> there actually was a movie about this. I feel like I need my reparations. So, there you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like on this end, it's enough. I got enough weaponry at the crib. <laughs> you hold it down. Wanna- <laughs> they can hold it down like, hey, you come through to get this five mil, you're going to catch five, five million bullets in your ass. Nigga. Hey, there was a movie about this. I'm sure. Th- there was. There was. There no was Country story. for Old Men. Oh, right. yes. Yeah. yes that, that, listen, remember, I, I don't watch the movie. That money with all I don't watch the movie. And Death and and came he caught ass, ass, though. ever since that money. No, nah, he caught he hell. Was ass though, man. He should have known. He was well, ass. I, I seen the movie twenty thousand times, man. Yeah. I still watch. Hey, Lou, you talking about Lou Ellen? Lou, Lou Ellen yeah, was man. tripping, man. He didn't know what to do Lou with it. Ellen, you know yeah, Lou he, Ellen. Was, he was shook, man. That's he the thing, shook, man. man. When you when you in that moment, you think you know what you're gonna do, but Ooh. man, yo, you, you know what I'm saying? A whole Listen, other psyche come up upon you with that shit. That's why I said. The problem that he made, the mistake that he made, he took the bag. Fuck the bag. Let me get the cash. Leave the bag there. Mm. <laughs> nah, Jay, listen. you think that that's going to matter, that that a million dollars is missing from that bag, that they ain't going to... It they had a tracker in there. That tracker would have still been there. I got the bread. I don't want the tracker. <laughs> Fat. Listen, we'd have been, we'd have been in, uh, uh, we'd have been in Cancun somewhere. Uh, was a uh, Riviera Maya. I mean, like dude was tripping. But yeah, nah, like hey, Riviera Maya. We, <laughs> hey, hey, five M's. Hey, now we gone, baby. Listen. <laughs> hey, hey, hey no gonna be like, no gonna be like, yo, y'all better get Joe or somebody on this podcast. I'm done, bro. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> on another note, I don't, I don't think five million is fitting in one bag, though, bro. Just so you, just, I'm just saying. Man, you better go find holes in the question. Million. Look at them, man. Like, you see, you see how they do, Jay. Hey, Jay, no, I but Jay, even, hey, I didn't even do the hey, holes this time, hey, man. I was hey. with the question. Hey, nah, man, Jay, look, Jay he, call right, you, he call you Nas today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that dark tequila. Wow. It's that dark tequila, G. That's what that dark is. tequila messing wow. with. Wow. what he doing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? call me Nas. You nigga was like, Scary up, hours. Man? Scary hours out here, Nas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, G. It's about to get scary in about 10 minutes. <laughs> really nah, wrap you up. Shaking. <laughs> shaking your, are, you ain't nice. shaking that damn. <laughs> The no. ice melted, but he still. No, you shaking the ice? It, 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 hey, he's sending that bat signal. He about yeah, to turn the Hey, the, the ice been shook. Right. <laughs> there ain't no straight drop in there, baby. Well, that that's definitely the key and definitely the note for us to wrap this thing up. The the ice has been shaken, and and, and things need to be done. I got a question. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all already know what we do. I got a question. You already know who we are. PC on, question here, G. The Pharaoh's Club. I can ask Go a to us. Oh. Like us. Nat. Yo. Sands. What's up? G got a question. What's up, G? How much would it take? A decent proposal. Man, come on, Ooh. man. So you try to stay on. Uh, come on, man. You, you try to stay on for another question. hour, man. Come on, man. Oh, that need to be like dot, 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 dot. dot. No. That, that need to be like no. a dot, dot, dot. No, that's a good question. Is Uh-oh. there a great Uh-oh, Stephen A. Hey, Dale, Stephen A, here you go. Let him go Listen. first. Let Stephen A go first. Can, can I set up the question, G? Can I set it no, up? Absolutely, please. It's, it's already set up, though. Let me set <laughs> up. No, 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 no. Because everybody did not know what, what indecent proposal is. So let me set it up. How much? 
are you willing to take for somebody to have a go with your wife? For somebody to shake that ice at your wife. Why are you <laughs> saying that? How like... much are you willing to take for someone to shake that ice at your wife? Dale, if somebody comes to you and they bring you to a warehouse and they open the warehouse. <laughs> the warehouse. And there's you nothing but about to, that. They about to smash my wife in the warehouse, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me hear me out. They bring you in the all warehouse. The place. They say, uh, Dale, all this uh, money in this warehouse. Uh, it's 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 a hundred million dollars in this warehouse, bro. Oh, you should, no, we we shouldn't even tell. We uh, we should have let them know because now they, the p- people gonna say more than a hundred million. We should have. Oh said, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know right, you what's right. The, what's, you, what's, the, what's the what's the what's the tag, Lo? You first. What's the tag? Oh, uh, that's easy. I'm not built like that. I can't handle that shit. You know what I mean? That's just me. You know what I mean? I may be like man. Cool, you know what guy. they say, Lo. If anybody hundred million. They any anything's for sale, listen, though. I'm anything. talking about. Come on, man. Keep it a buck. Yeah, hold on, listen. I'm gonna tell you. Keep it a buck, love. I'm not built like that. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Already, I mean, y'all already how already how did we y'all get got here? Faking on this damn cash, y'all already. Y'all now, listen, she already how got, did man. we get here? Hey, hey, hey! It's it, it sure to get tapped, man. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's a bad deal. <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> I, ain't, I, I ain't built like that. I can't. I'm priceless. Listen, we, or, or if that's what you want to do, you know what? We can chop a bag up together. We can go separate ways. <laughs> I mean, but I can't I can't stick around. That's just me. I'm sorry. Dale. 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 He ducking. Did we see you? <laughs> Did we see you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even like, man, I don't even like putting shit like this in the universe, man, because that <laughs> shit, so, <laughs> but I'm, I'm I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, man, this is a hard guy. Man, know, Dale, you man know, come on, Dale. Dale. You, know, you got spreadsheets telling I know, you man. What, is the, what number it'll take for you to get that house in, in Miami. You uh, are peer Dale. pressure, uh, peer man, pressure, man, peer pressure, peer pressure. Hey, G, man. if you watch this, please Dang. forgive me. Man, my my but wife, us my, being this us being guys, so please this, don't this hate type me. Of first, off, this. first off, my wife, man, me must, giving up my wife struggle. ain't worth I no condo in Miami, dog. <laughs> so that's that, that's first off. But all I, I all I can say is that I wouldn't do it. But man, and you, if it's no, I mean, you People wouldn't let fuck. somebody hit your wife for five hundred million, like like. That's like that's that's like that's like all gener like I, Damn, y'all could be good after that just one time y'all could yeah, be good one after time. that bro one, one time one time Dale ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> wait 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 hey G G can I take your <laughs> can I G, can I go a little further Listen, with some questions? You hear all that? Oh, yeah. You hear all that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out, fella. I can't. I can't. Okay, I got something I better. Fuck. I can't handle it. How this. much would it take for you to step out? <laughs> Reverse. Not your wife. You. That's easy. He's just no, you, you don't run a room first, man. Hold on. No, I don't feel it. Hey, look, whatever credibility you just gained with that no. deal, you just lost he when you said, said a Popeye's chicken, chicken, chicken sandwich. Popeye's chicken sandwich. We got to go around the horn first, man. Oh. All right. <clears throat> mean, go around the horn. Let's mean. go, Mean. Mean, what's the number? Hey man, fuck that shit, man. I, I'm I'm like low, man. All the J's in fuck the world, that, dog. Man. I, I mean, yeah, you call me what it is, oh, man. Bread. I run a milli. Cause I mean, you gotta think, man. You putting a price tag on your fucking wife, nigga, nigga. That's oh no, no, no hell, man. Like, I'm not putting a price tag on my wife. Great nah, nigga, me. Look, that, that's the basically what you, that's basically what you're saying, man. You basically saying you 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 basically putting uh, a price tag on your no, wife. No, this is all hell price tag. Y'all, y'all feelings, y'all weighing. That's a great answer, I mean, Burton. 
That's a great answer. Yeah, man, I'm not putting no price tag on my fucking wife, nigga. You crazy. I know you're not trying to get canceled. I mean, I know right. you're not trying to get canceled. <laughs> no, it, 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 it ain't about the canceling, nigga. Hey. I'm putting the way. I'm saying this. I'm talking to my uh -oh. wife and I'm looking uh -oh. at her. Uh -oh. and I'm uh -oh. Wait a minute. Are you, are you uh -oh. what? No, I'm saying I'm I'm looking at my I'm gonna look at my wife and I'm gonna be like, what's the number, nigga? <laughs> what you oh, good with? What's that's the, real. You don't want right to work more. You want ah. us to travel and do it. What's good with you? <laughs> Tell me what's good with you. No, I can't. That's dog. Real shit. Oh my god. This oh. might be the most <laughs> Eric cast we <laughs> ever put out hey, today. That's a hell of a question right there, bro. All right, on G, that note, on that you note. a genius. <laughs> now, G, now hold on. You a genius. Now look, now look, Gino. Now Gino, he set it look, up. He set he it up. Look, Gino <laughs> talked all that shit. I can let G. Let's see right. what your answer is, nigga. Go ahead. Right. What's your answer, G? Here's, here's the beauty in answer, answering the question last. <laughs> 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 no, hold, no, hold, 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 hold no, on. No, no, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna no, no, before you answer it. Just not only you know, but I mean, other people know too. What do you mean? Oh, the world? Oh yeah, motherfuckers gonna find out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> this is Damn, this is known information. Why would it be known? See, because I changed my whole just question of it. Mine ain't with that. <laughs> yeah, that's different. I ain't that's going. different. <laughs> I ain't going. I ain't going. I ain't going. <laughs> Yeah, so, that's different. I that ain't going. How you gonna switch my? No, you can't switch up my. I'm the last one to get an exactly. answer that way. No, I'm with G. Right, that changes everything. Nope. So, okay, so, G, so, you can so. you can do all the kind of monologues on the last cast. You can do all the switch up you want. We you can can't nobody switch it up on you though. <laughs> can't nobody switch it up on you though, huh? Okay, okay. All the curveballs. Yeah, just checking. Just checking. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> Y'all remix my question though. You know so are you are you putting a price tag on the love of your yeah, life, hey, nigga? Yeah, answer the question. I like you. how you put that, man. That's a that's an interesting way that you put the again, question. Again, he moved. The, he again he switched. That's it not up moving the goalposts. The price tag is, is you how did much? move the goalposts. Thank you, thank you. You did. So, so answer the question. Different. Uh, so listen, let me stop playing. No, man, I I ain't going. Especially with Great. everybody, with everybody knowing, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Man, right. All right. Great so you, man, don't nod. That's what I right. said. Don't no, nod. I said no. Regardless, I said no. Regardless. <laughs> but I'll say this. I will say this. What Dale said, although that's you know 500 million, somebody coming at you like that, that's wild, bro. I'm, I'm one gonna... night, one night, you get a you one get a time millionaire come to you and say. Ah. If I can just have my wife I'm one night, I'm I'll crazy, give you bro. Million dollars. I'm crazy, crazy. Bro. Like any, yeah, because like, I, I mean, I'm the crazy, aftermath. Bro. Like I wouldn't right. be able to look at her the same. That's what I'm saying. I, I that would. right there. I'm crazy. So, so, I mean, so, wait, 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 Dale. All this generational wealth and all this set, set chess moves, listen, chess moves, and all this oh, shit. Listen. You gonna tell me you ain't gonna set up the chess move? Oh, uh, listen, listen. But believe me. The generational wealth is the plan. My plan is gonna happen. No, okay? no you ain't making five hundred. Five hundred million. Five hundred million. Five hundred million. Five hundred is cheat code, but I just the we we would be ruined. Yeah, I mean, because I, I, I wouldn't. I, I see it in you, nephew. I guarantee. You you I guarantee I that every wife in here <laughs> would be willing to sacrifice their husband one time for five hundred. Here's the question. Here's the real question. Now, since y'all read five hundred million. Shit, Here's my real question. Before they see the cast, y'all go ask them how much would it cost? Who got enough balls to ask them how much oh, would it cost ask, for them I'll to then lay down? I got, hey. I damn sure I ask. Report back ask, to the I can ask right now. Yeah, I ain't I built like that, but I ask right now. I'll be, I be acting all yeah. tough and stuff. Ask right now. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Lo. Thank you, Lo. I want to know. Thank you, Lo. I want to know. I want to know. No. No, you don't want to know. You don't want to love me. Right, right. You like, right. She, hold on, hold on. Now low say something. Hold on, he go low. Hold on. Now that low say something. What if? What if she? What if you ask her and the low number? She come back low as fuck. Low right, as she, like, she like a hundred racks. Ten million. She be like, million, five, she be like, she be like fifty racks. I be like, what? <laughs> 
Low, hey, low on the way to the divorce court. He like, ah, oh. I can't use Oh, it. shit. This, he go hey. low. He go low. She going to say a number. She going to say something like 20. He going to like, damn, he going to start thinking of the niggas with that 20 million that could possibly get. <laughs> <sighs> like, Jay could have it. Gucci could what have it. What did she be like? <laughs> Nigga, 500 million? You said, yeah, right? Right. <laughs> 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 you said yeah. You signed me up, didn't you? You signed me up. Fuck that One night. Shit. I ain't... I All right, fellas. Man. Listen, right, man. Good. Appreciate y'all. Good G, shit, that man. was a great, great little. That's silly, bro. Yeah. I, I can't wait. Hey, I can't quick. wait to this shit air, man. This is about <laughs> to be some controversy, nigga. I appreciate that. Hey, you already know what we do. We trying to just, you know, talk amongst ourselves and amongst I'm on the show. ass now. That's a good question, G. My bad, man. Ass. That was that I was an awesome like question. He, he put he put it forward. We uh we we want y'all to go and make sure that y'all hit us up, subscribe, do all the things we tell y'all to do every time y'all listen to us. So just do it and stop messing around. You hear me? We love y'all. March. We got the women's uh women's month. Women's History Month, we love y'all ladies. Whitney Houston over there on my sands. Wu-Tang for the kids over there for G. You know what I'm saying? Dale got to support all HBCUs and everything black. Oh, and you already know my man Mean over there got that Wu, that Wu wear. Appreciate everybody, man. We love y'all, PCP. Get that thing up in you. Pause. Oh. <laughs> Get that thing Big in. pause. <laughs> <laughs>